Hi guys! Welcome to the channel. So for our vlog for today, we will be having our first ever episode and 5 minutes in history. So in today's episode, we will be discussing a very important and a very crucial person in the field of vocational guidance and counseling. So I am accompanied here now with my partner. So take it over, partner. Hey guys, it's Aid here. So Romar and I will be briefly discussing about a very important person in the field of guidance and counseling. Um, you might know him. He's uh, he's very well known actually because uh, he's the founder of Guidance. Uh, his name is Sir Frank Parsons. Uh, unfortunately, he can't be with here us today because of his busy schedule. But uh, me and Romar, uh, he both uh, assigned us or tasked us to give you guys some information or give a glimpse about his philosophy in life. So stay tuned if you want to watch. So before we dig deeper in his philosophies in life, let's try to get to know him a little bit better. So did you know, partner, that Sir Frank Parsons was born on November 14 in the year 1895 in Mount Holly, New Jersey in the United States of America. So he was a lawyer, a social reformer, an engineer, an American professor, a social worker, and he really works well with youth. So he is famous in his contributions because he is the father of vocational guidance movements. So now that you've got a little bit of idea who Sir Frank Parsons is, uh, let's get to know uh, his philosophy in life and the uh, contribution of it in the field of guidance and counseling. Uh, he is one who developed uh, the talent uh, matching approach, uh, which became the trait, of the trait and factor theory of occupational choice. Uh, later on, uh, the concept of matching the individual's uh, interests, talents, skills, and personality is the heart of Parsons' period. So that's right, partner. So Sir Frank Parsons focuses on the main goal, or his primary goal, which is to assess the job satisfaction and the job successes of an individual in his chosen vacation. So according to him, he believes that people perform best and they produce most when they are in those professions that best match with their skills, their talents, and their personality. He also devised a number of methods to assist his clients in learning more about themselves and the workplace. For example, his thorough questionnaires uh, includes questions on experience, uh, interest, and morality. So that is correct, partner. I really agree to that. So this just means that when we make decisions, we need to thoroughly understand our own and analyze as well our own interest, our values, our morality, or the things and what things we believe in, our experiences before we make our own decisions. So that's why maybe Sir Frank Parsons in his time, he asked those individuals about their experiences, their interests, and their morality so that he could analyze and give them guidance on what vocation should they take in in the future. And just to add uh, in that idea, the goal of his theory is to explain or to answer the question, why does a person might, might be a good fit for a particular vacation? So, and also, maybe in this theory, uh, he could help them uh, be guided in the solid path that they should take. So, it also focuses on identifying those typical career stages that necessitate education, mentoring, and of course, guidance and intervention. So, because understanding career growth is a very crucial step in identifying our our values, our strengths, our weaknesses, and our desired path for our own future. Uh, yes, I agree to that part because when uh, you're deciding for a vocation uh, or career, remember that there are three factors uh, that will affect your decisions. First one, uh, you need to uh, have thorough understanding of work. This means that uh, you have you should have the knowledge and ideas about the career you want to pursue. and. After that, it's time to understand thoroughly yourself. Ask yourself uh, if you have the skills, interests, and personality suited to the vocation that you want to venture. And the third step, or lastly, when you're already finished understanding them thoroughly, the first and second step, which is the work and yourself, try to match your own vocations with your own interests. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it will bring you your job satisfaction and the most success that you will have in your future. I think we don't have enough time for it. So that's your partner. But I hope that our viewers for today learned something from us. But sadly, it's already four minutes, guys, and it's time for us to say goodbye. And always remember to reflect on your interests when deciding on something. 
especially if it's your future. So, cheerio, ciao, adios. Bye.